Namaste yogis and welcome back to my channel for today's 20 minute yin yoga class. So I know you guys might have been missing me or haven't seen as many classes coming up. I'm really working on my knee recovery. I had a little bit of a setback last week, uh, minor minor details, but um, I'm working on them. So for today's class, all we're gonna need is a strap and we're gonna be holding position for about two minutes. We're gonna go through a few positions and uh, we're just gonna be enjoying the session together today. So we can start turning around and lowering ourselves on our backs. And from here, we're gonna grab our strap, find the middle loop, hook, hook it around our left foot here and extending that leg up in the air. So we can extend the right leg in front of us, holding onto the strap, taking one big inhale. Exhale, we're gonna pull that leg towards our face. There you go, getting a nice deep stretch in the hamstring, reconnecting with our breath and softening up into beautiful yin yoga practice. It's gonna be shorter than the other ones we do, but just as beneficial. So try to keep your shoulder blades in contact with the ground here. Don't shrug up into your neck, so keep your shoulders relaxed. And we can just pull the strap. And we can release the left leg here. I'm just gonna hung, unhook the left foot. And then I'm gonna invite you to place the middle strap here around the right foot, extending the left leg in front of us, the right leg up in the air, holding onto the straps. Big inhale, exhale, pulling that right leg towards the top of your head, keeping the leg as straight as possible and just diving into finding the edge here and the right hamstring. And we can release the right leg, placing the strap aside. And from this position, we're gonna go into reclined pigeon pose. So the left ankle can come just on top of the right knee here, opening up our hip. And through the opening we created, we're gonna take one big inhale here. Exhale, reaching through, grabbing the front of the right knee. And then just pulling 
that right knee towards your chest. Enjoying the deep stretch in the right glute, the left glute, sorry, and reconnecting with your breath. And we can release the position on crossing our legs here. We can wiggle them a little bit left to right, very gently. And from here, the right ankle can come on top of the left knee, opening up the right hip, one big inhale. Exhale, bringing the left knee in, just going through here and holding on top of the left knee. Pulling that knee towards your chest and feeling a deep stretch in the right glute this time. And we can slowly release the stretch on crossing our legs. Again, wiggling them left to right, very gently. There is no rush here. So from here, we're just gonna bring our knees in, rock ourselves a little bit, and coming back up to the seated position. So I'm gonna turn facing you guys. And we're just gonna be going into square pose. So we're gonna bring the right leg in, placing the left leg on top of the right knee, squaring off our hips here. And then with the hands in front of us, one big inhale, exhale, leaning forward at the waist and finding our edge here. 
Again, you want to keep your shoulders relaxed, so do not shrug up. Drop your shoulder blades back down. And just feel the deep stretch that the square pose provides. This is really good for all the tightness that we have in our lower limbs. We can slowly walk our hands back, uncrossing our legs here, wiggling our knees. Just taking about five seconds to reset before going to the other side. So from here, we're gonna be placing this time the right ankle on top of the left knee, squaring off our hips here, placing the hands on the floor, big and hell. And on the exhale, we're gonna bend at the waist, leaning forward and finding a new edge. And we can release walking our hands back, uncrossing our legs, wiggling our knees once more. And we're just gonna be working on our inner groin here so we can extend our legs at a 45 degree angle, opening up the flesh of our glutes, getting comfortable on our yoga mat, placing our hands in front of us on the floor. And one big inhale here. Exhale, bending at the waist, leaning forward, diving into the position. and finding a new edge here.
and we can walk our heads backwards, releasing the position. I'm gonna invite you to make your way back onto your backs here. So from here, we're gonna be going into recline twist. So you can bring your knees to a 90 degree angle up in the air, right hand to the exterior edge of the left knee. Big inhale, exhale, releasing your breath and then turning your knees towards the right, coming all the way down to the ground, keeping your shoulder blades in contact with the floor. Just relaxing into that beautiful position that relieves a lot of tension in the low back and the spine area. Spinal twist positions are really good for that. And this is one I really like for my chronic low back pain. And we can release the position, bringing our knees back to center. And we're gonna bring them to a 90 degree angle back up, left hand to the exterior edge of the right knee, big inhale, exhale, dropping our knees to the left. And then going into this beautiful twist. If you want, you can look right and extend the right arm to the right. Always deepens the stretch in your back. And we can release the twist, bringing our hips back to center, extending our legs in front of us. And we're gonna conclude today's class in Savasana. So take some space on your yoga mat. Allow the full weight of your body to dissolve into the ground. As you just keep breathing in and out through the nose.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this short 20 minute yin yoga class. I'll see you on the next one. And I wish you a great day. Bye guys.